Hi everybody, this is Dr. Stephen Zidkoy, author of Misdiagnosed the Adrenal Fatigue Link. And I wanted to talk for a minute or two about sleep and adrenal fatigue. It's one of the major complaints that I hear from my patients and um, read about on the internet. And there's a good, simple way to really start to address this. These are graphs of cortisol levels, and this is a normal person. Their cortisol level is very high in the morning. And cortisol is one of the easiest uh, tests to do. We use saliva in it. And it really represents the adrenal fatigue person's uh, situation. And it's very high in the morning. And then as the day goes on, it drops down lower and lower and lower, which means their excitability is, is dropping down. And then towards the end of the day, it's very low. And because it's low, they're able to go to sleep. There are two typical uh, paths that we see for people who have adrenal fatigue um, and can't sleep. Their um, cortisol levels are uh, a little low or higher in the um, morning, and then in the afternoon they drop down. It's a similar pattern to what you see in a normal person, but then at night what happens is uh, their cortisol level spikes. Um, and when that spike, they get a rush of energy um, and they feel much more energized. These type of people are like night owls or they always feel say they feel better at night or I'm energized, they can't get things done until 4 or 5 o'clock uh, in the afternoon. And the reason for this is that because the adrenals are fatigued and tired, it takes them many, many hours to sort of catch up to the day getting started. So you start the day and it takes them 12 hours, 10 hours to start to really boost up. And that's when they hit around 4 o'clock. And But the problem with that is you don't want a lot of cortisol or energy at night. You want it to drop down. So there's a simple solution for this. And one is to take a nutritional supplement. I like to use a glandular first thing in the morning, which raises the cortisol level up much higher, uh, which gives you energy for the day. Um, uh, then you use a, what's called an adaptogen at lunch, and that way you're still keeping the cortisol level high, but you're not raising it so high that you can't relax. And then we use something like acetylene, which is full of magnolia bark, which actually drops cortisol levels uh, for the next 12 hours. By doing this, you get a much uh, greater curvature, where it's higher in the morning and lower uh, in the evening. It's important that you get this gradient so that the body knows it needs to sleep. This is another typical person that we would see with um, adrenal fatigue and sleep issues. This person has a pretty flat uh, adrenal profile all day long. It doesn't change enough. And because it doesn't change enough, they neither have energy during the day or are able to sleep at night. They may not be... Um, totally fatigued all day long, but they just never feel refreshed. So what we do with these people is it's pretty much the same routine. And this is great because even if you're not sure what your cortisol levels are, if you know you're having uh, difficulty sleeping, this type of protocol will work for just about everybody. may not be 100% of you, but probably about 85 to 90% of the people who use this protocol will do really well. Again, we take an adrenal glandular in the morning to raise the cortisol level up right away. You take it as soon as you get up in the morning. You take an adaptogen midday to stabilize uh, and hold the cortisol as it starts to drop. And then around dinner time, 6 o'clock, you take uh, a magnolia bark. Uh, the brand we use is uh, Zymogen Cetylin, and that'll drop the cortisol for the next 12 hours so that you can get a really nice uh, sleep. If you'd like to learn more, uh, join us uh, or like us at uh, the Adrenal Fatigue link page on um, Facebook. Uh, you can always purchase our book, Misdiagnose the Adrenal Fatigue Link. Or if you need a more personalized conversation, uh, give me a call at my office, 732-308-0099. I hope this helps and have a great day.